Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita. In today's video, we are going to study about linear programming problem. We are going to solve one example of linear programming problem by formulation method. So this is the example on the screen. The example is A and B are two type of fertilizer. A and B are two type of fertilizer. Now this fertilizer are available at rupees thirty per kg and rupees fifty per kg respectively. So the price of fertilizer A is rupees thirty per kg. and price of fertilizer b is rupees 50 per kg now next further information is given fertilizer a contains 20 units of potash 10 units of nitrogen and 40 units of phosphorus this is about fertilizer a next fertilizer b contains 15 units of potash 20 units of nitrogen and 10 units of phosphorus next is the requirement of potash nitrogen and phosphorus is at least 1800 1700 and 1600 unit so in total the potash is required 1800 nitrogen is required 1700 phosphorus is required 1600 units now formulate the problem as lpp that means we have to formulate this problem as linear programming problem in order to minimize the total cost we have to formulate the problem of fertilizer a and b uh, in or in order to minimize the total cost of this fertilizer now this entire is in the given problem right now we have to first form uh, the we have to formulate this problem okay now in formulation method there are total four steps first step is to decide the decision variable second step is the identify the objective function third step is to identify the constraints and last step is to identify the physical constraints which are also called as non negativity constraints so in this four steps we have to formulate the lpp problem okay now this entire problem you uh, entire question you have understood okay there are two types of fertilizer each fertilizer contains some units of potash nitrogen and phosphorus we have to minimize this problem okay uh, we have to formulate uh, the problem in order to minimize the total cost now first step is to prepare a table okay by uh, preparing this table it is very easy to uh, uh, formulate the problem okay we have to put this problem into equation formulation method is what convert the problem into equation so with the help of the table we can easily form the equation okay so now i have prepared the table now first i have highlighted some important points that is fertilizers now how many fertilizers are there two types that is what a and b fertilizer now fertilizer a contains uh, fertilizer b a and b contains some for this thing what potash nitrogen and phosphorus and the price so i have written potash fertilizer type potash nitrogen and phosphorus okay and the price now fertilizer a what does fertilizer a contains it contains potash how many units of potash 20 units so right 20 potash a uh, sorry fertilizer a contains how many units of nitrogen 10 units fertilizer a contains how many units of uh, phosphorus 40 so 40 now what is the price of fertilizer a the price of fertilizer a is 30 per kg so right 30 per kg now next we'll move to fertilizer b 
Now fertilizer B contains fifteen units of what potash. So right, fifteen units of potash. Nitrogen it contains twenty units. And phosphorus it contains ten units. And price of fertilizer B is how much? Fifty per kg. Clear. Now, next line is what the requirement of potash, nitrogen, and phosphorus is at least eighteen hundred, seventeen hundred, and sixteen hundred units. So, in total, potash is required for how much? One thousand eight hundred. So, right, one thousand eight hundred. Next, nitrogen is required one thousand seven hundred, and potash is you uh, is required in units. One thousand six hundred. Clear. Now you can see easily. You can identify that this entire problem, which was in the form of, uh, in the form of uh, sentences, I have put down into the form of table. So easily you can prepare the equation. Okay. Now first we have to decide the decision variable. Okay. So now let. For let. X B fertilizer fertilizer A okay so fertilizer A we have considered as X next Y B fertilizer fertilizer B so now this is what our decision variable. Now, for after finding decision variable, we have to find the objective function. So now, what is the objective? Objective is to minimize the total cost. Basically, we have to minimize what the price. So this is what a objective function. So here, right? Z minimization or minimum is equals to what is the price of fertilizer A? Thirty x. Why I am writing x because we have considered fertilizer A as x plus fertilizer B price is how much fifty y. This is our objective function. Okay. Now third step is to find the constraint. Subject to constraints are what. The restrictions or some limitation to achieve our objective function. Okay, so subject to first constraint will be our potash. Second constraint will be our of nitrogen. Third constraint will be of phosphorus. Okay, now so first constraint of potash will be twenty x plus fifteen y. Now this is what minimization, okay? So always for minimization, the sign will be greater than equal to. So twenty x plus fifteen y greater than equal to eighteen hundred. Clear? This is our constraints. This is our constraint and constraints of what potash. Okay. Now next nitrogen uh, constraint ten x fertilizer A will be what ten x plus twenty y again greater than equal to seventeen hundred. This is our constraint of nitrogen. Okay. Now next for phosphorus forty x. Plus ten y greater than equal to sixteen hundred. This is a constraint of phosphorus. Now, fourth step is what to find the non-negativity constraint, which is also called as what physical constraint. Now, always physical constraint will be what x y greater than equal to zero. This is our physical constraints. 
so this is the step to formulate the lpp okay so in this way you have to formulate the lpp in order to minimization of the cost okay so this is the answer for this question it is very simple first take down all the problem in the table and then in this four steps you have to convert the formulation problem into equation okay so i hope students you have understood this example lpp linear programming problem by formulation method thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification